I'd want to go to space if I had like a huge amount of of control over what our elevation was in the craft because I'd want to see what stuff looked you like. You get no control. Yeah, really, I know I don't get any control. I'm saying like this is 200 years in the future when everybody gets up there. It's fucking a, a day trip and they put you in a pod and you can kind of peek around. Like I'd want to go way up super I'd high. I'd want to go to space. And I'd want to go way down. I had nothing to do with controlling the ship. That's critical. If hey, they Cap, put me in charge. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. I, I, when I had a baby, they asked me to cut the umbilical cord and it's like me? Nah. Jesus Christ, this is a hospital. There's doctors all over. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me, it's gonna be you pull out like your that. gladius. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My leatherman. <laughs> it's gonna be just like that Titanic sub, man. They're gonna hand you the Xbox controller and you gotta pilot your way around. Okay, I guess I would want it in more of like a go-kart, like a kid's go-kart place where I have a little bit of free reign, but they can pull me back in just in case. Because I'd want to see how mountains and like the topography of the planet looked at wildly different elevations. Like, oh, I'm at this height now, and now I can like def- I can see that river. Oh, let me look at the little map. Oh, that's the Nile River. That's really cool. Let's go higher up. How high do I have to get until I can't see that at all? Google Earth. No, but like you'd be up there. You could look. That's an airplane. So yeah, but no, you can't see anything fucking airplane. cool from the airplane. You want you want a personal hovercraft, and you want to go up and down and see the elevation of rivers. Not just rivers, all of it. Oh, uh, I'd want to get high enough that I could see the lines in between the countries. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. That's what yeah. I want to do. Yeah. I think I'd want to yeah. float around in zero gravity. I'm not like, man, I got to. I'm just that saying that as, like it, as it stands night. right now. I don't feel like going to space, you'd even get much out of it. Like, it's so early in the beginning of it. Like, there's no way well, there's that much Did you see cool. when Shatter went here, to here, space? Here's and it was, was supposed to be like this big PR thing, like about yeah, how great space is. And then it was just like, man, that was the most depressing fucking thing in my life. <laughs> why, yeah, <laughs> like, why didn't you yeah. like it? Space sucks. He said He's like, because he, he looked at Earth. Like, it's the loneliest. We're just, we're just on a rock in the middle of nothingness. Oh, he my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, said about, there. he said something about staring out into the would be sad. void of it all and realizing how alone, how truly alone we were, or something. But here's what I would get out of it. Here's the reasons I would want to go to like the space station, for example. First of all, you're going so goddamn fast, Taylor. Once you're up there, like I don't know, like, like, like th- thousands of miles per second or some shit. That would be cool. Mm. Just like yeah, I went twenty thousand miles per, per fucking hour. It was me in in our our space. I'm one of the fastest human beings of all time. There's only been 87 human beings have ever gone as fast as I've gone. That would be fucking cool. Also, the zero G weightlessness of just like being a kid and doing like spinning barrel roll cartwheel type things in zero gravity and goofing around. You can do that on a plane. So much fun. Okay, a NASA research plane for brief periods of time when they do loop de loops. I'm talking about chilling up there with a bottle with a bottle of water and squirting little orbs of zero G water at myself and like playing with with Jello. Doing it for a day or two up there. That would be so fucking cool. Yeah, okay, that would be cool. And seeing the Earth from that point of view, that again, only like a few dozen people have ever seen, like looking down and seeing it all, like the whole world from right there through that window would be really... It sounds it, cool, it, but I, I, also I don't like me. that. And there's a 100% chance that I would make some zero-G vomit as I'm up there in oh. space. Oh, there's a vomit bag for that. Upside down. There better be a vomit vacuum or something. I'm not sure a va- bag gets it done. You got to use the same thing they put their dicks in to pee. <laughs> 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 no, buddy, don't use that. That's the cum one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was salty. <laughs> you look at it, it's an asshole. Man, this <laughs> astronaut ice cream tastes weird. No, what do you know? Not as chocolatey as I hope. But I wouldn't be. want to be up there long. Like, like I wouldn't want to be up there long. Like, it like fucks up your bones. Days. That's the weirdest thing. Yeah, like the guys are on the International time. Space yeah. Station. Do they get taller? Yeah. No, no, they get uh, weak. They, they get weak bones. But I think they do get taller though, because like their bones start floating away from each other. <laughs> yes. Like it's I've heard that. Like, you're, yes. you're losing like the cartilage between your bones because your bones are no longer you know this constant downward force on your bones keeping everything together. Like all your limbs are just floating out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. Exactly. Straight. Yeah. yeah, they get less dense because you're not you know continuously putting that stress on your bones like you do your muscles that that they it heal they heal back from. You're getting very less dense very bones weak. and you're also yeah. getting weak as shit. Your bones um, could lengthen like a belter. No, says so NASA's like, like found that. those the I, height of it, astronauts increases approximately three percent over your four days your first four days in space. 
So you that's start pretty that. good. Your height starts going up because your bones are floating away, like they're no longer compressing downward. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you go to the sense. chiropractor first. You go to the chiropractor the and then you double up on your length. You go to space. You go to you get chiropractor, then space. They stretch you out and then you never go back. Yeah, but then you're gonna come back to Earth and very quickly like go back to Earth size. I mean, I guess so. I don't know how the science works on that one. One of the things that turns me off is like the whole bathroom and like uh like shower situation up there. Like I, I saw an astronaut be like, This is this is how we shampoo, and it's like the shampoo that you don't take out, you just rub this goo in your hair and you're like all done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it's like I'll shave my head. Uh, where do we shave your heads at? Where do this we, device we is for make believing that we're clean. Dude, it yeah. takes one one I stinky sand guy in my hair and to ruin everybody's dry time. shampoo. Oh my god! It's a lot of moist towelettes. A lot of moist it's towelettes. And, and Towel shitting. And, that's my shitting and move. pissing into that bag every time, or not bag, but like that vacuum situation, whatever. Like like yeah, all that seems so awkward. I, there's, oh. I, I can't imagine living up there for months at a time, especially the way we do it. And it's not even that sci-fi bullshit where you can kind of move around and there's plenty of elbow room. Like, they're in a little closet up there. That thing is tiny. <laughs> the whole crew would be to come back traumatized. Like, Woody <laughs> masturbates a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, use the vacuum bag. It'll make its way back to me. Well, oh, at least boy. look out the window while you're here. Like, <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to shoot a lock and load commercial for us while you were up there. Wait, we're going on a spacewalk. I'm doing yeah. stuff. Come on. Yeah, he was looking at porn on his phone the whole fucking time. <laughs> you're, supposed be, you're supposed to be monitoring the 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 oxygen levels here they're jerking it <laughs> i yeah, wonder I, they never the astronauts don't talk about it i wonder if jerking off in space feels great i wonder what I, that's like i bet it's I a mess know. i was thinking sex would be a problem because i really most of I my the body involve gravity yeah. yeah like i no you velcro uh, that bitch to the wall she's in trouble you velcro her has you anyone, has have, anyone have they ever confirmed anyone had sex in space like no, it's i don't talk about happens. that they don't talk 100%. about that. I bet Leonardo sure. DiCaprio flies up there and fucks fucks ladies I guess all the probably time. Has, yeah, you think I, he does? He's probably got a spaceship. Yeah, if he doesn't have one, he knows someone that does. He is cool, and I like him, so I, I bet he has. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Leo. <laughs> yeah, he's a good actor. He's like it's I like his style. You like his style? What else does he? I don't know anything else about him. Uh, he, he fucks. Oh, I know he. I know he's unapologetically uh, he, and rides around on his yacht. <laughs> <laughs> they'll write a whole fucking they'll do like 30 articles about how, like, dirty old man Leonardo DiCaprio and they'll just like find a new one and buy a new yacht and go fuck her on it everyone was talking yeah. about Charlie Sheen and his they'll tiger blood DiCaprio's over there living the life for real Yeah, just, what do they call themselves it was like Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> Toby Maguire and uh, a couple other guys they're called like the pussy posse or something like that hmm. right. yeah, it was Toby Leo, Maguire I didn't guess that Jake Gyllenhaal oh, yeah. and Donald Trump <laughs> yeah, Toby Maguire. No, there was that. Uh, there was that film they made. What was it? The something's Peach or something. Spider Man. No, it was like before. <sighs> What's eating Gilbert? At that. No, they made this like weird little like indie film that was just like them hanging out at a diner and talking about like fucking chicks, and then the guy who made it like all of a sudden Leonardo DiCaprio and Toby Maguire like blew up, and their agents were like, "If that film ever comes out, it's gonna ruin you." And the guy's like, well, we shot the film. I have the footage. I'm going to put it out. Like, I invested all my money in making it. And they sued the shit out of him so they couldn't distribute the movie. And it's just young Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire talking about slaying puss. See, they should have bought and, the uh, movie. I think it finally like came out somewhere, but it's like 20 years after the fact. So what you do is you, you have a, some subsidiary or some other media company purchase it for you on your on your beh behalf and you know then you shelf it forever the ufc did something similar recently they had somebody buy bloody elbow for them and then deleted all the articles about their antitrust shit <laughs> really yeah the movie was called don's plum that was the name of the restaurant that they eat at like yeah i didn't know that that's interesting there's like a documentary about it, and like basically they said, you know, if you try to release this, we're gonna sue you into the ground. And uh, and so like I forget where I watched this documentary about it, but it was 